Thank you for joining us tonight. The Wisconsin Department of Workforce Development says it's making progress when it comes to meeting unemployment requests. Our Adam Duxter spoke with the Secretary of Workforce Development, Caleb Frostman, this evening and joins us live with his message. Adam? Well, Eric and Charlotte, Secretary Frostman says he wants to make one thing clear. If you qualify for unemployment and you apply for it, you will get it. DWD Secretary Caleb Frostman says the last few weeks have been hectic, to say the least. So know that we have hundreds uh, of employees uh, working uh, overtime to uh, process paperwork, to get back to folks, to uh, expand our capacity to answer calls, to make calls. Frostman says at the peak of the unemployment requests, employees were getting up to 160 calls per second. It's, it's, a, it's a challenge, the likes of which our generation hasn't seen, and so... Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough spot for a lot of Wisconsin to be. But since then, Frostman says the DWD has recruited hundreds of new employees and has gotten help from state lawmakers who repeal the mandatory one-week waiting period. He says since then, the state has paid out more than 30 and $40 million. Now, the speed in which you can get unemployment pay just depends on your eligibility. Some folks have zero questions and they fly right through and there are other uh, claimants that could have as many as six or seven eligibility questions. And so um, our adjudicators are, are working overtime to, to sift through those. He says just this past week, hundreds of thousands of Wisconsinites received their payment. And as incoming calls decrease, he says staff is moving through requests as fast as they can. You know, we'd love to make sure that folks get their, their dollars sooner rather than later. Uh, folks will get with, um, you know, all the money that's coming to them, um, just um, not as soon as we'd like to get it out. Now, Secretary Frostman says since the DWD made improvements to its IT system a couple of weeks ago, they haven't had a single crash. Again, he says as long as you apply and you are eligible, you will get your unemployment check. All right, Adam, thank you. There are now more than 4,000 confirmed coronavirus cases in Wisconsin and more than 200 deaths. That's about 150 new cases, 25 deaths in the last 24 hours. Milwaukee County contains roughly half of the state's total cases with more than 2,000 as well as 120 deaths. Dane County, 359 confirmed cases and 17 deaths. With the current strains on the health care system, UW Health says its medical assistant apprentices are being called on to help. Under normal circumstances, the apprentices mainly focus on classwork and limited clinical studies, but now they are helping with the COVID-19 response. They are still completing classwork in the 11-month program, but due to clinic consolidation, they are now also helping with employee testing, nursing assistant areas, and child care training. With the pandemic comes medical waste. While many parts of the world are seeing an increase of it based on the number of COVID patients, here in Wisconsin, we are actually seeing less waste. UW Health says waste is down about 30%. They said it's because other standard procedures where PPE would be given to staff and patients aren't happening right now. And since we don't have a surge of COVID patients, there is less medical waste than usual. But what happens to the waste after it leaves the hospital? We found out a company called Mary, based in Wanakee, processes it. Steam gets injected and then it, it moves underneath microwaves, which also provide more heat. We heat this waste up to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The process takes about 60 minutes, and when it comes out the end, it's deposited into a uh, compactor and it looks like confetti. Mary staff members visit Madison Area Hospitals daily to properly dispose of their waste. They follow guidelines put in place by the CDC and Wisconsin DNR to ensure the environment is protected throughout the process. City of Madison launching several new initiatives to help people have safe, healthy spaces for walking and biking during the Safer at Home order. Over the next week, crews will be making improvements to some of the city's most used trails and expanding what they call shared streets. For specifics on the plans and locations, head to our website, channel3000.com. Interest in a rally at the state capitol next week is exploding since Governor Evers extended order to stay home yesterday. The rally to reopen Wisconsin scheduled for next Friday. According to the Facebook event, nearly 3,000 people have marked their going. The governor and state health officials say their actions have been guided by science and what steps are most appropriate to save lives. It was a second day of protests across the country demanding the economy be reopened. This is video from St. Paul, Minnesota. The massive crowd gathering outside the governor's residence there demanding he end the state's stay-at-home order. The group is calling themselves Liberate Minnesota. Their organizers say the state's stay-at-home order has gone on long enough. The president has embraced the protesters. Today he tweeted that Minnesota, Michigan, and Virginia should be, quote, liberated. All three states have Democratic governors and are considered battleground states for the presidential election.
This afternoon, the president and the White House Coronavirus Task Force say there are now enough COVID-19 tests to get the, the country to start phase one of the three-phase reopening process. For what we need in the first phase, if these things are done correctly, what I believe they can, we will have and there will be enough tests to allow us to take this country safely through phase one. Phase one includes much of the current lockdown measures, such as avoiding non-essential travel and not gathering in groups. But it says large venues like restaurants, places of worship, and sports venues can operate under strict physical distancing protocols. Switzerland's famed Matterhorn Mountain was illuminated with an American flag for a few hours as a symbol of solidarity during the coronavirus pandemic. The tourism organization representing the mountain wrote in a statement, our thoughts are with all American people at this unprecedented time. We look Look forward to meeting again at the foot of the Matterhorn. We are all in this together. Tomorrow will be an historic day for the U.S. Air Force in a ceremony combining established solemn ritual with new COVID-19 protocols. Nearly 1,000 U.S. Air Force Academy cadets will graduate. There will be no crowd and all cadets will be at least six feet apart during the entire ceremony. It will be live streamed in order for families and friends to watch. It begins at noon Wisconsin time. Beaches in parts of northern Florida and the Carolinas are now starting to reopen. In Jacksonville, the beaches there partially reopen this afternoon but there are some restrictions. Beaches will only be open from 6 to 11 a.m. and from 5 to 8 p.m. Nobody and no beach equipment will be allowed on the beach during those restricted hours. People will also not be allowed to be within six feet of one another. Let's go to Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti now. Not quite beach weather here just yet. Things are warming up though a little bit. Oh, we can always hope. Uh, temperatures are going to be milder than they've been in almost a week by tomorrow afternoon as we check out the time lapse from the WISC Skycam. We have plenty of clouds today. From time to time, we saw a little little bit of sunshine mix in, but for the most part, skies stayed cloudy. The skies will clear out overnight tonight, and that will allow temperatures to drop to around freezing, but no precipitation across the state right now, so that's good news. High temperature in Madison topped out at 49. It was a little cooler to the east of us near Lake Michigan, a little milder by a couple degrees to the west where there was a little more sunshine. Current temperatures are generally in the 30s, although Madison, Watertown, Juneau, uh, all at uh, 40 degrees or slightly above. By tomorrow morning, we'll be down to around freezing, but tomorrow will be a sunny, windy, and milder day with a high temperature. Temperature 59 in Madison. Look for temperatures to be in the 60s for parts of next week. There will also be some rain chances, especially the second half of the week. I'll have more details in the forecast in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. The two inmates who escaped the maximum security prison in Portage yesterday are now back behind bars in Illinois. It ends a search that lasted more than 24 hours involving several local, state, and federal agencies. 46-year-old Thomas Deering and 37-year-old James Newman taken into custody this morning. Happened in Rockford at a local nonprofit organization. And today, the Columbia County Sheriff's Department says they had help when they escaped yesterday morning, leading to the arrest of a prison employee, 46-year-old Holly Zimdahl. She was a citizen worker in the kitchen and is now facing a tentative charge of party to the escape. She is currently in the Columbia County Jail. Our investigative team has linked her to uh, at least assisting beforehand uh, with this escape. Some of the evidence uh, has been obtained from her vehicle, her home, and her herself. Law enforcement believes the two had additional help and that investigation also ongoing. The sheriff says the two escapees did injure themselves while trying to get over the fencing at the prison. He says one of them even tried to get medial attention under a fake medical attention, I should say, under a fake name in Illinois. Sheriff Brandner says the hero in all of this was the woman who recognized the two, then stalled until police could get there. Gabriella Becerra talked to that woman known as Miss Carly, who locals say dedicates her life to helping others. Rockford police arrested two inmates who escaped from a maximum security prison in Portage, Wisconsin, here on the doorstep of Miss Carly's place over 100 miles away from Columbia Correctional Institution. And it's all thanks to a woman who dedicates her life to helping others. This is my block, this is my city, and I'm going to do everything I can to protect it. It's not unusual for strangers to show up on the doorstep of Miss Carly's place looking for help. But founder Carly Rice says she immediately noticed red flags when two men showed up at her nonprofit early Friday morning. They were uh, only wearing thin thermal shirts and uh, gray sweats, which I recognized to be prison issue. Um, so already I had a flag raised, and when they took off their mask uh, to talk, it was just one of the regular COVID masks. I was like, holy cow, this is those 
prison escape is. When she stepped inside to get the pair of coats, she called 911, but stayed as calm as possible so she didn't tip them off. Uh, so we stood out there and smoked cigarettes and drank coffee with them until the police showed up. Rice said it felt like forever waiting for police, when in reality it was only a matter of minutes. I saw the police started to gather like two blocks away out of the corners of my eyes, and they had no idea because they were digging through a bin of clothes. Once they were in custody, police say they identified the pair as Thomas Deering and James Newman using tattoos and pictures. One inmate is insisting he isn't who they say he is. It's a picture, and uh, by gosh, we can all look at a picture and say that you sure that's not you? Because it sure looks like you, so. Police applauded Rice for her quick thinking. Miss Carly's place, uh, Miss Carly making the phone call, uh, it does take a lot of courage, you know, to recognize that somebody there is, could be dangerous and to step away and make a phone call and say, I think they're here. Uh, that's what we want every citizen to do. Although Rice says she did what needed to be done, she still feels a need to offer her support to the inmates. I didn't make any eye contact with them. Uh, I was actually trying to because I wanted to apologize uh, because I still think of these people as human beings. Daring and Newman will be held at the Winnebago County Jail in Illinois until the Columbia County Sheriff's Office can come down here, interview them, and transport them back to Wisconsin. In Rockford, Gabriella Becerra, News 3 Now. And they do expect more arrests to be made in this situation. Still to come tonight at the Dane County Regional Airport offering some free entertainment this weekend, plus a generous donation supplying thousands of masks for first responders all across the state. For over 40 years, Kitchen Idea Center has partnered with discerning contractors, designers, and architects, bringing their clients' vision to life, featuring Play-Doh woodwork cabinetry. Kitchen Idea Center, designing for you and your life. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Growing up, your memories may have included reading your favorite book before bed. For many, this is where the joy of reading starts. At Bella Domicile, we want every child to experience that joy. And it's Madison Reading Project's mission to make sure that all children have that same opportunity. Please donate to help us provide 40,000 books to children and help sustain our Big Red Reading Bus. For more information, visit madisonreadingproject.com. Brought to you by Bella Domicile and United Madison. You love your business. Every day, you coddle it, pamper it. Maybe the growing pains were hard, but you put everything into it, nurtured it, and fed it so it would grow. It's only natural that you'd want to protect it with the right insurance. Pamper your business with a policy from West Bend and wrap it in the cozy warmth of the silver lining. My mom is 81 and I worry about her. So I went online and found the new Lively Mobile Plus from Great Call. If she ever needs help, she can just press the button. And with the Great Call Link app, I'll get an alert right on my smartphone if she does contact Five Star. With the fastest call response time, they'll assess your situation, confirm your location, and send you the help you need. Available at Walgreens or online at Best Buy or Amazon.com. AARP members get an exclusive discount on select plans. Searching for a new kitchen? Look no further than Kitchen Ideas Center, a trusted kitchen design center for over 40 years, featuring Play-Doh woodwork cabinetry. Kitchen Ideas Center, designing for you and your life. From handheld cell phones to high-flying drones, health officials are working to use technology in new ways to keep everyone safe. But are those methods inventive or invasive? Plus, the sun is back and so are the 60s. Keely and Chris will see you at 5 and 8 Saturday. 
A hair salon on Madison's north side is making adjustments after the governor extended Wisconsin's safer at home order. Steve Nelson, owner of Dwayne's Salon, says they spent the day moving appointments that had already been booked for the end of March after the original order was set to expire. Now the order is in effect until May 26th, as we know. But Nelson says they aren't even sure if they should make appointments for the end of May in case non-essential businesses end up staying closed even longer. My original thought was, well, there, there goes my whole plan of, you know, what we had, what we had thought we were going to do. But I totally understand it. I understand that we've got to stop this and uh, get, get it under control. And if we open things up too soon, it could just uh, ex escalate again. For now, Duane's salon is preparing to be ready at a moment's notice when it's declared safe to do so. U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue announced a new program today, the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. President Trump directed the USDA to create the $19 billion immediate relief program. A release from the USDA says it'll provide critical support to farmers and ranchers, maintain the integrity of our food supply chain, and ensure Americans have access to the food they need. For the foreseeable future, the Dane County Farmers Market says it will be hosting local food pickups up on Wednesdays and Saturdays starting next week. It'll be held at Willow Island at the Lion Energy Center. They say people can pre-order via their What's Good online farmer's market store. And during pickup, you just drive through. The farmers will place the order directly into your vehicle. A Madison businessman is making sure Wisconsin police officers are protected from coronavirus. The founder and CEO of technology startup Xerology donated 16,000 KN95 face masks to law enforcement agencies throughout the state. He says he was already looking to better protect his employees when he decided to expand his reach. I always believe that if you have the smarts to figure out a solution, you have a moral obligation to try to do something about it. And that's what it is. Unfortunately, I'm in a position where I could, I could afford to do this, and I truly believe that it is about uh, uh, living well by doing good. The masks were delivered to the Sun Prairie Police Department yesterday and were picked up by representatives from agencies all over the state within just three hours. Teachers and staff from Royal Oaks Elementary School in Sun Prairie are doing something good. They hosted a safer at home car parade for students today. The teachers, principal, and even the school mascot, Rocky, took part. They drove the parade route and waved to students in their driveways. If you or the family is looking for something to do this weekend, the Dane County Regional Airport may have an answer. The airport will open its first ever Flight of Lights drive drive-through light display along International Lane. That display is free. It'll open tomorrow. The plan is to have it run daily, 7.30 until 11.30 p.m. through May 10th. The airport says it decided to open the light show a little earlier than planned to help bring some joy to area residents. Also finally bringing joy to thousands. One Gary Canalti in a weekend forecast that seems a little more like spring, Gary. Boy, this has been a chilly week, but temperatures are starting to turn the corner. Of course, it's also severe weather season, and this is the end of Tornado and Severe Weather Awareness Week in Wisconsin. And, uh, prepare for severe thunderstorms before they start occurring uh, more frequently. Before severe thunderstorms hit, make sure you secure outdoor objects like lawn chairs and uh, bicycles. Move vehicles into the garage before hail can start coming down. Stay away from windows, obviously, because strong winds can break them. And remember lightning uh, hazards as well. Don't go outside uh, when there's lightning outside. And stay away from electrical objects that are uh, connected by cords inside your house. And also remember that severe thunderstorms can produce tornadoes with little or no advance warning. So don't just think, well, it's only a severe thunderstorm warning. I don't have to worry. They can occasionally bring tornadoes with little advance notice. As far as flash flooding is concerned, if you're in an area that's prone to floods, make sure you evacuate if necessary. If you're in a car, the saying is turn around, don't drown. You don't want to drive into areas where water floods the roads because if you've got about 18 to 24 inches of water, that could start floating your vehicle and that will take that water will take you wherever it's going going to uh, send you. Don't play or swim in floodwaters. Not only are they polluted, but they can suck you into a storm drain. And make sure you use caution in returning to flood damaged homes because they may be weakened and also full of mold and other uh, things that were in the water. Three things you need to know in the forecast. It'll be windy for tomorrow, sunny and milder. High temperatures up in the upper 50s. Few places will touch 60. Dry weather is expected for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with highs in the upper 50s to around 60. And then shower chances will return later next week from Wednesday afternoon, probably 
rapidly through Saturday, but temperatures for the most part will be in the lower 60s. On weather track, our upper level winds are still from the northwest. Very strong jet stream moving through the southern part of the United States could bring another severe weather outbreak on Sunday from Texas eastward through Mississippi and Alabama. Same area that got the severe weather on Easter Sunday. That northwesterly wind flow aloft will keep our weather a little bit quieter here. There'll be a couple of weak cold fronts that may trigger a shower tomorrow night and then again Monday night. Other than that, we're going to stay precipitation free. Skies clear out overnight. Tomorrow, mild southwesterly winds bring our temperatures up into the upper 50s. Here's that first cold front with a couple of showers for Saturday night. Sunday, we're back to sunshine, a little cooler weather. Then on Monday, the next front comes through with maybe a stray shower and then look for temperatures to be back to around 60 degrees on Monday afternoon. So uh, for tomorrow, look for a high temperature of 59 degrees with mostly sunny skies. It will be a little windy, but as we look at that 7 to 10 day forecast, if we drop just a few degrees on Sunday, get back up to around 60 on Monday, drop a couple degrees on Tuesday, and then are in the 60s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Some shower and thunderstorm chances there. A little cooler for next weekend. Showers the first part of the weekend, dry the second part. There could be a little more substantial warm-up as we head into the following week, but that's still about 10 days down the road. All right, looking forward to that warm-up this weekend, Gary. Thank you. And still to come, catching up with Badger Wrestling, why Coach Chris Bono says his program is well ahead of his five-year plan for success. Zach's in next, ES Sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Grand Appliance and TV is committed to serving our customers and neighbors now, just as we have since 1930. If you need an appliance, we're open, and you can shop our website 24-7. We've expanded our live chat, email, and phone support, and are here for you with an extra 5% off most purchases. Our delivery pros can do a no-contact drop-off delivery or full in-home install. Grand Appliance and TV. You know us, and we know you. You can count on us. Over the past 89 years, the awards for our clients totals well into the billions of dollars probably more than all the other personal injury firms in the state, combined. Habish, Habish & Mortier. Imagine facing Wisconsin's bitter cold winter without a warm home, or the blistering heat of summer without power, then having to make the tough choice between eating or meeting other basic survival needs. Unfortunately, over 200,000 of our neighbors in need will face this difficult decision with no place else to turn, including those who are now unemployed due to the COVID-19 crisis. For a hand up and help with your utility bills now during these difficult times, contact the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund today. you during these challenging times. Keeping your Toyota safe and reliable is important, especially right now. Many of our service centers are open. Schedule service online and drop off and pick up your vehicle with no contact. Need to replace your old vehicle? Most Toyota dealers offer online shopping and will defer your first payment for 90 days. We're here for you. Contact your local Toyota dealer to see how they can help. Toyota.
In year two of the Chris Bono era, there was a lot of good on the map for the Wisconsin wrestling team. Dual wins improved, conference record went up, and everybody in the room got better. The head Badger sat down with us and shared his thoughts on the abrupt end of the season and the bright future of his program. Christian that has Riola in trouble, and the Badgers get a fall. There's some hurting guys right now. You know, there's some there, there's some guys that are still struggling with this. That that they're done. They can't compete. Or you know, you you, you know, you told me you know I do all the right things. Things are going to happen, and um, so it's 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 sad. But um, I'm trying to instill in them, hey, there's bigger things out there right now with this virus than winning national championships. We all want to win national championships, but you know what? Uh, we better make sure we jump on this, and and we better make sure that we we do our part in helping cure this thing. How has recruiting changed for you with this? Just Zoom calling this guy and Zoom calling that guy. And, uh, you know, we, we spend all morning into our afternoon calls after calls and, you know, with parents and teams and, um, you know, even other coaches around the country. Hey, let's, 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 let's talk about our schedule face to face. I like it. You look at the Big Ten, teams come to mind, Penn State, Ohio State, and obviously Iowa. Is Wisconsin... How far away are you guys from, you know, that, that level of success? And what is, what is it going to take? When I discussed my five-year plan with my boss with taking this job, we basically were in year five, actually, in year two. You know, we were ranked as high as third in the country this year. Now, we weren't ready to win the national championship. We, we didn't have that kind of team that Iowa, Iowa had an unbelievable team this year. But we were ranked third in the country. I never, in my wildest dreams, thought I could come in here and get this team to be uh, third or fourth in the country in, in under two years. Uh, I'm very, very excited for the future. Very, very excited for what the next, you know, two, three, four, five years down the road are about to have because we're about to have a squad here in the next couple of years. Obviously, wrestling is a lifestyle, and, you know, there's nothing harder than, you know, stepping out on the mat and wrestling. How does that mindset help in a time like this? Yeah, so it's it's very, very important. You know, I think as a wrestler, we've all been in dark places before. Um, whether it's after a loss you shouldn't have taken or uh, a loss in a very, very important match um, or a practice where you've got your butt kicked or when you're five or six pounds over and you don't think you're going to make weight and then figuring out how to do it. Um, we've all been in very, very dark places. I think this is, this is a very, very dark time. So... Um, it's a challenging time, I should say that. And uh, these guys have been challenged, um, and I think they're gonna, they can persevere through anything. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic about what our guys um, can do to get through this time. And speaking of Badger wrestling, Seth Gross, Evan Wick, and Trent Hilger were tabbed first-team All-Americans by the NWCA, while Tristan Morin was named to the second team. We'll be back after this. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. This is our home. We've never seen it look quite like this. But there's no mistaking it. And it's our job to protect it because the best people to fight for our communities are those within them. So if you've just bought a Volkswagen or we're thinking of buying sometime soon, we're here to help with the community-driven promise. to real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum is the fastest. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet, delivering starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my shows and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go, all from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. 
We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. And with great deals available, there's never been a better time to buy at your local dealership. To find a dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Are you nervous about leaving your parents' phone plan? You got this, dude. <laughs> you could have... It's just a plan. Nope. Individual plan phobia. Plan phobia? Mm-hmm. We got your back. Switch to your own plan at U.S. Cellular and get $400 back. Plan phobia? Mm-hmm. They got your back. Switch and get $400 back. Only at U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Download the Channel 3000 app today. And Gary's back. Final check of the forecast. Let's look ahead, Gary. Let's look ahead to some warmer days. Yeah, I just got the Climate Prediction Center outlooks for uh, the next month and for the next three months. Equal chances of above or below normal temperatures for much of the country, but warmer than normal weather expected in the southern and western portions of the nation. And then uh, above normal precipitation expected just to our south and to our west for May, June, and July, the three-month period. Again, equal chances of above or below, below normal temperatures with warmer than normal weather expected all around us. And you can see precipitation expected to be above normal through much of the nation's midsection, including Wisconsin. For tomorrow, look for no rain, sunny skies, high temperatures, upper 50s with some uh, winds as well. Could see a shower tomorrow night, and then temperatures will remain generally around normal with above normal temperatures toward the end of next week with some rain chances as well. Gary, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now in 10. We hope you have a great, safe weekend. Take care.